Welcome to Purple Trading, where we offer you C-Trader, the incredibly comprehensive platform that has raised the standards in the online trading industry. In our last videos, we have looked at the most amazing features of C-Trader, and in this video, we will look at the settings behind the scenes to allow you to get the most out of your trading experience. You can find settings at the bottom of the side menu, and the first thing you need to understand is that some settings will affect the entire platform, while others will only affect certain accounts, and others will only affect current workspaces, giving you further flexibility. Properties show you the overall details of that trading account, but not all accounts are eligible for user-defined changes. Contact Purple Trading customer support if you feel you need to change one of these. Email alerts apply to the active account under all workspaces, and we will look at these in detail in the next video. In CTrader Desktop under General, you may set your language, the color theme, and turn on or off the platform sounds. Depending on its resolution, you may want more information on your display, and you can adjust this here. Also, you may hide or show details of your account and your ID. You may also determine where you want to store and display your chart shots. In CTrader Web, you have fewer general settings, but you may change the font size. In CTrader Desktop under Startup, you have a very valuable feature in that you may allow multiple instances of CTrader, where you may run individual accounts and workspaces giving you incredible flexibility. Additionally, you may create multiple profiles and create instances with completely different settings. Under Assets, you may choose to view your symbols in certain asset classes in either units or lots. These will only apply to the current workspace, so if you wish to change these, you will need to set these up in each workspace. Also, in individual workspaces, you may set the view of the daily change and the function of your mouse clicks and drag for the symbol tile, new charts, and new orders. We will look at automate in a later video, but settings will allow you to auto restart your CBOTs and auto format code in code editor for advanced traders and algorithmic trading. Notifications will be covered in the next video and must be specified for each workspace. Possibly the most important setting is that of Quick Trade, which directly applies to risk management of your direct market and pending orders. Quick Trade settings are specific to the active workspace and, for example, you may enter the market with a single click, a double click, or simply open a separate order. You must click Apply for any of these settings to take effect. If you tick Close All Positions Without Warning and or Cancel All Orders Without Warning, along with Single Click, you may do just that with a single click. Otherwise, a Modify pop-up will require further actions to confirm your decision. Order Type settings also apply to each workspace and critically allow you to automatically place predetermined levels of Stop Loss, Take Profit, and or a Trailing Stop on all three order types. Hotkeys are available for a variety of functions, and even if you do not modify them, it is good practice to familiarize yourself with them and use them whenever possible, such as the cursor up and cursor down keys to move through the timeframes. Connection will allow you to connect your network or ISP to CTrader if required. Fix API is also available for advanced traders who need a direct connection for pricing or an interface for trading. This is a complicated topic and there are many resources available directly from Spotware and the CTrader communities. That's all for now. In our next video, we will show you how to set up notifications. We hope you will enjoy this CTrader desktop and web video series and embarking on your new exciting trading journey with Purple Trading. Thanks for watching and don't forget to be purple.